Hello, and welcome to another Tuesday tip. Today's tip will be on the tenant selection plan. The HUD handbook lists required and recommended topics for the tenant selection plan. A great starting point for owners and agents to review before rewriting the topics is to write the topics, review them, compare them to the new HUD HOTMA rules and notices. Ask yourself, what will remain the same? What will change? Or what new needs to be added? Recommended topics do the same. You have to ask yourself, how many of those recommended topics will remain the same? Or how many of them will be added to the required topics now that Hotma's here? And lastly, will a new recommended topic according to the new HOTMA rules need to be added? Here's an example. De minimis errors in income. We've talked about this before. HOTMA policy states that multifamily owners must take corrective action to credit or repay a family if the family was overcharged tenant rent because of de minimis errors in calculating the family income. It also states that owners and agents may not implement policies to require families to repay in instances resulting in the family being undercharged for rent where it's the multifamily owner agent's error. Multifamily housing owners must include in their tenant selection plans how they will repay or credit a family the amount that the family was overcharged retroactive to the effective date of the action the error was made. Because of the multifamily owner's de minimis error in income determination. Is this a new tenant selection plan requirement? that will, one, remain the same, two, change, or three, be a new addition. If you said a new addition to the required tenant selection plan topics, you are correct. 